So we're going to look at several tools on how we can compare design versus the as-built. So once you have your 3D model, what you can do is you can overlay, you have your 3D point cloud and you have this 3D model. You can just uh, simply inspect that to see where there might be some clashes from the original design versus the as-built 3D point cloud. So you can see some screen captures of how that um, looks in the software. We can also uh, model the beams and you can do some comparisons just by using the comparison tool to do some still deflection and you'll be able to see um, how it might fall or maybe you're looking at uh, when a deck is loaded if there's any uh, camera deflection at the edges as well. So uh, basically using the same tool I, I showed you there before for the fall flatness you could use for your 3D model and compare it to the point cloud um, once you uh, to, to analyze some deflections. You can also use uh, the software if I close out of this tool, and if we go into our Scan Explorer, and let's navigate through here. So here we have lots of beams. So one thing we can do in the Scan Explorer uh, view is we actually take some measurements from the underside of this beam to the floor. And you'll notice that uh, these beams are at a slight angle. Uh, this is uh, on the high level of the building, so we have the roof above it. And we can take some measurements to make sure that uh, the actual design and the construction are the same. So what we can do is use our measurement tool in here and we can take some vertical measurements. This tool here is called the distance along the vertical axis. And no matter where I click from the underside of this beam to the, anywhere on the floor, it will take a straight down vertical measurement. So here you can see a clearance of 3.672 meters. As we go further up in the beam to the floor, you can see that this distance is increasing because the beam is at an angle. Okay, you can see that it's moving at the right angle here. So what we could do is have some comparison measurements of the design and we can compare this to make sure that this clearance is as it should be. We can also measure between, uh, horizontally between things. So maybe we want to know the distance between uh, this vertical column and the core here to make sure it's correct. So we could measure along the vertical axis. We can measure from the inside here to the wall over here, and it gives me the horizontal clearance distance between uh, that horizontal, uh, that vertical column, and the uh, the concrete core of um, the stairwell here. So you can see how you can quickly uh, create some measurements, and we can export out this group of measurements very quickly and easily by just seeing create, and it creates them in. Trimble Rule Works. There's a group of measurements here. You see all these objects, like so, and we could actually export those um, measurements out. Uh, so actually, we can do a special export. File. Export measurements under the advanced, advanced exports. And what it will do is export it as a CSV file, so you could then import it into your spreadsheet and you could compare it uh, against the design. Or you could uh, export these measurements uh, out into, say, Vico and compare it to the design as well. So you can see, uh, not only can you do 3D analysis uh, on the 3D point cloud by comparing to models, but you can also uh, do some quick 2D measurements uh, like you normally might do uh, except that I can quickly go out and scan, I can bring it into the office software, I can get these measurements that I want, as many as I want because I have so much data here uh, in a very short period of time. I could make measurements to all of these beams in, in a matter of um, five to ten minutes, get all the clearances that I wanted and uh, quickly report that back to whoever needed the information. 
So it's not all about uh, necessarily 3D um, visualization, but also traditional type of um, measurements as well.